amnistí Čechy. Hallelujah. And while I was meditating, the Lord spoke to me and said, why this, you know, I, I've been praying it, that this, um, the problem with COVID-19 is this, the people promoting it are more than people causing it. Did you hear what I said? People promoting COVID-19 are more than people that should stand against it. And unfortunately, we Christians are not doing our part. We have joined the world to promote it. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? We have joined the world to promote it. I went to the shop the other day at Tesco, at Town Center. I was climbing the stair and Seta said to me, COVID-19, I say you are, you are mad and I touch my hand on you because I'm going somewhere. How many of us know John G. Lake? He was the founder of apostolic faith. When he was in South Africa, because most of his ministry was done in South Africa, there was a time a plague broke out. I don't know what it is, bubonic plague. And the British government sent some doctors, some experts from UK to South Africa. And when they met him, they said, John G. Lake, you need some protection. He said, I don't need any protection. He said that what I carry inside of me, I mean the virus, the plague cannot survive. He said, for you to prove it, bring the virus and let me put my hands under the microscope. And the, he said, the moment you place the, the virus in my hand, it will die. And that was exactly what happened. The moment he placed his hand on the microscope and they placed the virus, the life of God in his life destroyed the virus. So after that, they said, Doctor, sorry, you don't need any protection. Hallelujah. They themselves we are, we are observing some things, but because why? And you know, that is the mentality I had the moment Satan said to me, Holy Spirit reminded me that what you carry, and I want you to walk in that mentality. Bible said in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 18, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he will do what? Quicken your mortal body. Can virus affect the Holy Spirit? Can virus affect the anointing of God? Bible said that you know it shall come to pass in that day that the yoke of your neck shall be what shall be removed and the body shall be destroyed. Why? Because of the anointing. Oh, for some of you, Satan will tell you you are not anointed. Who said that? In the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 20, he said, Beloved, you have received unction. From the Holy One. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Lord, that neighbor. neighbor. You have received unction. From the Holy One. Say to that person. The anointing of God. Is resident in you. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Is resident in me. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Is resident in me. And he can destroy. Any virus. Any sickness. And right now. I place a demand. On the anointing of God. In my life. I command. Every burden. Every yoke. Every sickness. In my body. I command you. Be destroyed. Right now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That is in me. I curse you. Be destroyed. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I command. Every high blood pressure. I command. Be healed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that is in me right now. I cause every pain, I cause every abnormality in men be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Believe it. The anointing dwells in but for the very fact the anointing of God dwells in you doesn't mean that it's going to work automatically. There are things you should do. There are things you do to bring out what is inside of you. Man of God said the other day, Apostle, 
the word of God that is in you will not do anything until you speak it. Because when you speak the word, you release it. You empower it. Hallelujah. It's like an arrow in a bow until you shoot it. The arrow will not be destructive. Somebody said, was training some people, he placed a gun on the table and he said to them, he asked me, he said, is that weapon dangerous? They say yes. He said, it's not dangerous. As long as it's lying on that table, as long as it's not in the hand of any person, that gun is not dangerous. But if somebody should go and take the gun, then, what was not dangerous now becomes dangerous because it's just for that person to pull the trigger to come and put the trigger and you cause damages so that was so that is why the word of god in you you have to speak it nothing happened even god our father the word the power that we change that will bring restoration after the judgment of Satan in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 they walk until the father said Bible said the Holy Spirit was hovering until what happened and God said let there be light be and all of a sudden light came because the word inside of you not spoken will not cause damage and that is why Bible made us understand the book of Ephesians chapter 6. He said that you know, carry what the sword of the spirit, which is what the word of God. You know, but you know, all of us, thank God, if you have been coming to Real Grace Mission International, you will know that that word, word there is the word Rhema, spoken word. It talks about it's, it's, it's a word that describes a fragment. Of the word given to you at every given opportunity. Like today, this evening. While I was praying with God, because something happened. And man of God was praying. We were praying. All of a sudden, he said, Pastor Stanley. He said some things and he gave, he gave a word. He said that every man, every woman God has ordained. For there is a very meeting we be around. Yeah. That thing is not loud. Yeah. And one of the things that led to prayer, the prayer, I was, they replied me and says, Pastor Stanley, the thing has been updated. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That hallelujah, I said, let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, God is a prayer answering God. God, answering God. Yeah, because you see, a lot of us today, because People don't have result in prayer. That is why they are discouraged. And there are a lot of things people today call prayer that are not prayer. During the intercession time, yes, the man of God said, every failure is a prayer failure. He said, you know, that some people will object to that. But if you really understand that prayer is a dialogue, not a monologue, then you will agree to that. Because that is why today when people like, let's say, summarize, blessed memory say that all the prayer I pray that I receive, majority of prayer I pray I receive answer. Some people say, how can it be? But these are men, before they begin to bombard heaven, they will inquire from the Lord, God, what is your mind concerning this case? That is why Jesus came when he was teaching us prayer. He made it very clear from Matthew chapter 6. He said, prayer is about establishing the will of the Father. So prayer is not establishing your ideas. We often quote the book of Psalm that delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. There is no way you can come to the place of delightment in God and begin to desire things that contradict his will. In the book of John chapter 15 from verse 7, Jesus said that you know, abide in me and my word abide in you. And then you will ask whatever you will and it shall be done to you. Why? He didn't mention abide in me because he said there is no way 
the word of God will abide in you and become part of you. There is no way you'll be, you'll be a doer of, do of God's word without you desiring knowing what is befitting, what is desired of God for you, God's desire for you. That is why today several things we call prayer and not prayer. Because Jesus Christ made it very clear. Say, prayer is the establishing. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. louder, neighbor. neighbor. Prayer, prayer is about establishing the will of God. And that is why, you know, uh, Ken Hagen, his blessed memory said, he said, faith starts when the will of God is known. Faith starts when the will of God is known. This is the confidence we have. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. That if we ask anything according to his will, if we ask anything according to his word, if we ask anything according to his, the Greek word, there is the word telema. In the Greek there are two, three words for will. One talks about desire. One talks about your idea. One talks about predetermined idea. What God has predetermined. That is the word there, telema. And Jesus Christ used the two words. At the garden of Gethsemane, he said, Father, if it is possible for this cup to pass over me, he said, but not my will. He used the word telo in Greek, but he said, but you are telema. You are perfect will. You are predetermined will. So that is why I said, the more you grow in God, the more you want to find out, God said, Lord, it's limited. There are several things which the reality of Christmas International can do. But God said, Lord, we tell me personally, I'm not going to do that. If God did not lead us, if God did not give us, go ahead, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because it's the will of God. Because it's when you are in the will of God, it comes with boldness. When you are in the will of God, you'll be able to rise up and challenge Satan. That is why I've told us here with tell num- time with tell number that nothing can overcome the reality of Christmas International. Because the reality of Christmas International is not a figment of imagination of God's heart, but the reality of Christmas International is born of God. And the Bible says, whatever thing that is born of God will overcome the world. And every one of us have been witness that God has seen us through from every challenge, even when it looks that like we're not going to make it. Baby. Because right of Christmas International is born of God. That is why we always come out victorious, come out triumphant. Because reality of grace is born of God. Amen. But there are churches that are not born of God. And Apostle said, Jesus is only committed to build his church. I always ask people, there are some ministers that don't want to serve. They want to be the Alpha and the Omega. They want to be everything. They want to be the Mechizedek. When they rebuke them and they are wrong, instead of them to repent, they will say, I come from my ministry. The Lord is Shepherd, my Shepherd Ministry International. Don't be carried away. Jesus said that, you know, many people will come in my name. Why? Because, you see, God will not fund what he did not command. I can't imagine pizza man showing up at my door. And I say, who, where, who? I say, who are you? He said, can I again order for pizza? I said, let can I again come and pay for the pizza? <laughs> but if I order for pizza, I will pay for it. So that is what today there are some things today people call prayer. So if you know what prayer is all about, there is no way. Because you will know whether if something is of God, whether if you should invest your time in it or not. And Satan is expert wasting Christians' time. Several years ago, I taught on the subject last day's ascension. Because I was on bus 12 during winter. And I opened one of the, the tabloids. And they wrote, winter's essential. You know, during winter, whether you have money or you don't have money, you have to heat your house. As a matter of fact, you may be safer to go hungry 
and hit your house than to eat and not hit your house. Because you may suffer pneumonia or hypotomia, the, the, the greater one. And you know it kills. How many of you know that? So, and the Lord said to me, he said to people, the same way people prepare for winters, winter, buy winter essential, because whether you have money or don't have money, you must get hammer. You must get winter stuff. The same way, teach people this thing. And one of the things the Lord said I should tell the people was, the people of God was, learn to, don't waste time. And he said to me, he said, the world invented sat nav to save time. Most of the worldly principles are taken from the Bible. Bible said when the Holy Spirit comes, he will guide you. When you follow the Holy Spirit, you don't waste time. When you follow the Holy Spirit, he will tell you where to go and where not to go. When you follow the Holy Spirit, He will tell you that this venture is designed by Satan to waste your time. He will lead you to the right place. And the Bible said that redeeming the time because the days are evil. So when you are a wise person, you spend time, you inquire, God, what are you saying concerning this situation? And let me say this, and that is why today a lot of people today are frustrated in prayer. I heard this from Kenneth Copeland. He said, Don't overload your faith. There was a time his children needed something. He said, Now nah, I can't go more than I am now. If you need this thing, you yourself must believe God for that. Hallelujah. Bible said, Prophesy according to your faith. I can say, Pray according to your faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. So if you follow that principle, then you'll be able to know because you see, in a place of prayer, and that is why today, you cannot be effective in your prayer life without the person of the Holy Spirit. He is sent here to help us. Hallelujah. I remember man of God sang a popular hymn some years ago. That was the first time I heard it because I was not brought with a church that was into hymns and everything. He said, the comforter has come. Let the weeping cease. Yes, I heard it from uh, one of the persons I heard from was Bishop Waluke. The first time he preached at Four Square Convention. He was young then. So when they invited him, some of the elders were not, it's like they say, who is this person? Hallelujah. So it's like their heart were not open. And Bishop Wallach he was not a bishop then. He was struggling with what to preach. Because some of you don't know what ministers pass through. When they asked to come and do some big meetings. And they said to him that, you know, after the hymn, you are the one you are going and he said when the choir went they started singing the comforter has come let the weeping cease he said the anointing of god came upon him when he mounted the podium the pulpit few minutes into his meeting blind eyes popped up he said that you know he, that was the day he understood, under, he said he understood the verse that he said, when the Spirit of God comes upon you, do as to catch yourself. He said that meeting, the miracle, the signs, there was no more preaching, it was not miracle galore. He said after the meeting, all those, all, the, all those elders that were skeptical about it, whether he was sanctified or not sanctified, or whether he was of God or not of God, whether he was anointed or not anointed, he said you could see the respect. So when you follow the Holy Spirit, when you yield to Him, you'll be effective in your prayer. When you are, when you follow the Holy Spirit, because you see, when you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, as you pray, He speaks to you. Like the word God's about received today. 
We, if we pray in the spirit, we pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Say, Pastor Stanley, do you know when things like this, these things that happen in the Bible is true. And he said, every man, every person that God has ordained for Dr. Jerry's meeting will be here. I called you this evening, but I know you are getting ready. I was calling to share the testimony. The call came. So, say to your neighbor, it is possible. I can again say, he said that there is a way you, you, when you pray in this, we say you increase your prayer power. Because let me say this, there are several things you think you know how to pray, you don't know how to pray. We should be humble enough to accept what God has said. You know, at times we, we blame Peter. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, <laughs> with your big mouth, he said, before the cock we crow, you will deny me three times. Before the morning cry, you will deny me. Peter said, no, I will die with you. He said, Peter, <laughs> you, hey, okay. That is the way some of us behave. So, but the wise man, if God says you are capable of doing this, in just humble yourself and accept it. The Bible said that we don't know the way we should pray as we ought. That is why today, when you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are limited in your Christian work. There is no two ways about that. You can be Billy Graham, you win more souls. But there are a certain level of God's realm you won't be able to flow in. We do respect. Hallelujah. We do respect. That is why in his meeting, how many will you hear about healing? I heard this from Ken Hagen. There are people walking with him that were plagued with sicknesses. They came to his meeting. Ken Hagen services. To hear and be healed. Hallelujah. Because as a believer, you are anointed, but with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have a greater anointing. When you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, it's like being immersed in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Bible made us understand the book of John chapter 4. It said, When you are born again, it's like a well. But when you are filled, baptized in the Holy Spirit, is a river. Man of God said some years ago, I will never forget that. He said, what can you do in a well? The highest you can grow, maybe do a fish pond. And that would be very small. Hallelujah. Sorry for those of you not born in Nigeria. Some of you that have not seen well before. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I was... Uh, on the house village where I was asking somebody, they said, do you know about Papi Lue? The, the popular comedy said, I don't know about Papi Lue. I said, don't worry, when you grow old, you know about Papa Lue. Hallelujah, Lue. Praise God. So, so you, don't, you, may, you may not know what is called well. But man of God said, but in a river, you do commerce. You can fish. You can travel. You can receive massive Sheep, cargo, massive cargo of blessing Amen. with the heat of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but in a way, you are limited, but with the Holy Spirit, you see, there is a greater anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, today, God wants us to know about that, you see, because we are going to pray. The Lord spoke this word to me. You know, when COVID-19 came out, because why am I praying? Because you see, this afternoon, the Lord reminded me the story man of God told us about the farmer that was sick. And they told his animal to pray that our guy is sick. They were indifferent. They were indifferent. Eventually, the man died and the cow that was indifferent was used because was used for the funeral when COVID-19 came out apostle said that this is not a Chinese problem because why I'm saying this now the ripple effect is so much 
fly B is now they are gone back. I mean, uh, what did they, they are no more. And over 2,000 people lost their job. Virgin told his staff, Bishop Bronson, take unpaid leave. The real that said, unpaid leave. I know when COVID-19 came out, they were smiling, drinking their tea, saying that is none of my business. That I live in London. We have the good energies. But today, what is happening? COVID-19 has taken away the sum of, I mean, because, you see, we are praying. But my prayer is that you see, may we Christians rise up Amen. and increase our prayer power Amen. that will overcome Amen. the negative words that is fueling COVID-19. Over 2,000 people in the city, people are losing their job. While we were worshipping, the Lord reminded me what Mordecai said to Esther. He said, don't think you will be saved in, your, in the palace. He said, don't think that. Don't be fooled. Because a wise man will foresee evil and he will hide himself. So don't say that, oh, that I have my job. Don't, be, don't make that mistake. Because of what benefit will it be for the management to keep it when there is no more business? Yes, yes. That is what Richard Branson is trying to do. Since a lot of people are not traveling now, most of the route has been canceled. So why return some? No, no, go on unpaid leave. When the business return, we return you. <laughs> and let me say this. One thing about God's way of doing things is this. If you pray against him with all of your heart, he will protect you. I heard this from Kenneth Copeland. He said, during the election, when you vote the right party that you believe that support God's principle. You know, on Sunday, the other the man of God was preaching that, you know, though it's not God's way of doing things. And somebody was watching from US, my sister, said, I hope they're not going to see man of God <laughs> as I guess. <laughs> because that God, my younger brother, is with not Trump. Oh, the other day, my, our last boy said something on his Facebook line. I mean, his time, he, he shone her. He said, be careful. This is not your... He wanted to... He took it personal. Hallelujah. You know, he took it personal. He said, this is not your... Be careful. I'm supporting... If you don't... Don't write any rubbish about it. Because some blacks are not happy that, you know, Donald Trump has stopped some things. They are using to make the government. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Anthony Copeland said this. He said, when you vote the right party, even if, even if they don't win, God will take care of you. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to be political, but you see, I've discovered this. We blacks don't reason at times. We are after immigration, start with favor. Oh, vote they will give you. They can kill all the babies. It's none of our business. Man of God said me something yesterday. I'm doing far for something. Hallelujah. <laughs> Where Obama was discussing with Jesus, he said to Jesus, Donald Trump has reversed all my things I put in place. Jesus said, Yes, you reverse all his mind. That is why I brought Donald Trump to reverse them because what you reversed was against me. Hallelujah. I told my God, I said, Who, whoever did that is a genius. Hallelujah. Let's all the shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You see, let's grow up. Life is more than pepper. My God, God said this some years ago. We we'll start praying so. He said, How I wish people can exalt redemption more than British passport. 
Did you hear what I said? How I wish he said it when we are life's place. He said, Pastor, in the course of, he said, How I wish people can exhort redemption more than British passport. During the time of Paul, Rome was the leading empire. To be a Roman, I mean, a Roman citizen is like being, is like equivalent of being the British citizen, American citizen. But when Paul was about to die, in Acts of Apostles chapter 20, verse 32, he said, Brethren, I commend you to your Roman citizenship. Are you sure? Are you sure? Let's turn about the book of Acts of Apostles. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see. Verse 32. Remember, this is this is a word of a dying man. He said to him, I said, he said, I'm not going to see your face again. So he said, It's like this is the, my last word to you. He said, I'm now, brethren. I commend you to your Roman citizenship. To your Israeli citizenship, to your Babylonian citizenship, to your Egyptian citizenship, to your Grecian citizenship. No! He said, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up and give you inheritance among those who are sanctified. So, what value, What is your value on God's word? The psalmist said, I rejoice at your word like a person who has found a grace for. Jesus said, heaven and air will pass away. Not a jot or a tit of my word will go for fear. If you have the word of God, you have everything. Because Everything was made by the world. So what am I saying today? So when we rise up and begin to pray, because we're going to pray about some things, don't say, I have my job. If you don't know, there are people your company are depending on. They have clients. If the stops, if the checks stop flowing to them, what do you think they will do? They will tell you to everybody take unpaid, unpaid leave. When business return, you return. But I pray that will not be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Because thank God, the man of God saw this initial. He said, "When I know when he posted that, the people may say, ah, well, what are you talking about?'" But now is the headline. The second person have died in UK today. But you know, don't forget what I said. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is in you. Walk with that consciousness. That was what happened to me at Tesco. The moment Satan said that, and I put my hands on that, and I was now I realized said that you know every virus in this complex, you are dead. I was that was what I was, and I did with the man of God said, you see. Is your consciousness of God's presence that will cause it to work for you? If you are not conscious of it, nothing will happen. The consciousness of God in your life will make all the difference in a lot of time, I mean, during challenging time. Man of God said this as we rise up because I have a lot of things, but you know, I'm not dying now. Next time we'll continue. Man of God was airborne and he dreamt where the plane crashed. He woke up and his and went back to sleep. I know there are some people, some of you looking at me now. If it was you, they will restrain you in that place. Oh, they will restrain you. Because you have called on God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and release fire and do karate and do several dimensions. And ah, they will restrain you. Like one day I had a very funny dream. I woke up. I hiss. Because why? I could see Jesus standing in my room. 
I went back to sleep. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus said, wash and pray. Lest you do what? Fall into temptation. When you don't pray, you fall into temptation. Right now, I want you to begin to thank God. Because the prayers we are going to pray today will receive answers. And let me even say this to you. you, may, you, you I hope you may, you may know, you may not know it. Miracles are taking place. Yeah. Hallelujah. I said miracles are doing what? Taking place as I'm speaking. Miracles are taking place. So lift your voice and begin to... Let, for, let me say this for those of you who have not heard me say this. I've told us, you see, God has visited me and anointed my tongue. God did something. Our last one was, a, was pregnant, getting ready to deliver. And they said that she would give birth to a baby girl. And she called me that she needs a boy. And I said, by the grace of God, that's what we're going to have. I started praying. Last week, my wife told me, all oh, this, this prayer, after baby has set and form and everything. I said, you're supposed to be a leader of faith group. I'm not embarrassing her, but that is the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, two days ago, she gave back. She gave back to what? A bouncing baby boy. They sent me the picture. They took it in a such a way you will know the sex of the baby. I showed it to my wife. They took the picture so that you don't need to guess. You don't need, no, 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 no. The women was right there. Huh? So you don't need to know whether to be confused about the equipment. The equipment was there. You know, a baby boy. I told him because I've been praying because you see, man of God, when people come, you ask boy, you see, I've forgotten what you said, Victor or Victoria. And you saw that is it. God of what? Abraham. Isaac and what? Jacob. You can ask God. Our God is a prayer answering God. So lift your voice and begin to thank God. Lift your voice and begin to thank Him. Bless His holy name. Mamre tu vana querida bondo zina granda li kovaba hako vedehida. Le tu va sevre no mosu querida va sendo mandande la cube. Le lo va ha celebro to vara candelisa na madovada. Sambra te vena bro Santa Linga Bondo Vanda Kikatuba Hakere de Bosha Brande Liva Hapentendo Sinta La Gredina No Sutanda Lekete Ina Maram Bando Suntele Kratum Bragande Lu Santa Lekoda Branda Lingando Santa Langende Lu Sata Bragadendo Londo Sinta Langredu Santa Brahasetum Jeli Bratu Vandale Kubra Dama Zedehita Lekura Dendo Sinta Langende Santo Mata Lekunda Brande Le Santo Bragande Le Sata La we praise, we worship, we give you all the praise, give you all the glory, give you all the honor, give you all adoration. Malinda Lega do Santa Bradema Zunte Lika to Bahasata. Leto Vara Bare Kushata Habedo Bahasa. Leto Vara Bale Boto Braga Benele to Sundama Hafata. Letendo Sichete. We are going to pray. There is power in United Press. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. There is power in United Prayer. There is power in United Prayer. In Acts of Apostle chapter 4, Bob made us understand from verse 22 down. Bob said they let the apostles go and they went back to their company and they lifted their voice in one accord and prayed. And the Bible made us to understand God had them. 
Because the Bible said the place where they prayed shook and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and preached the gospel with boldness. In the book of Luke chapter 7, the centurion, Bible said that his prize slave was sick and he came to the elders of Israel and they said, please send me to talk to Jesus. Bible said they went to Jesus, they, and they besought him concerning centurion and the Bible say he followed them. In the book of Mark, Bible says Jesus Christ came into the, the, city, the, the city of Tyre and Sardom. And they brought to him a man that was deaf and dumb. And the whole people besought him. He said they besought him. And Jesus had them. And took him outside and ministered to him. The power in united prayer. So as you lift our voice to pray today. Know that God is the same yesterday, today and forever. So I want you to lift your voice. Now remember what I said, the people causing COVID-19 are less. But thank God we are not going to fall into that category. One thing, I'm, let me say this, our prayer can make a difference. I was asking my wife this thing, I said, have you seen bile in chicken before? Because some of us have not seen live chicken. You see it on video, on home video. But you know, if you open up a chicken, there is what they call bile. Bile is so small but very powerful. Likewise, poison. Poison is little. When you drop it in a big ocean, do you know that you see? Seas can be poison. How many of you know that? Can be poison. Can be poison. So open your mouth right now and begin to curse. If the COVID-19 in this city cause that it shall not come to a place where school shall be closed it shall not come to a place where public gathering will be closed it shall not come to a place where your company will be affected open your mouth and begin to pray right now let me hear your voice
about Jesus. You are going to pray. We are going to pray about soul winning. The Lord spoke this to me some last year, reminded me yesterday. He said, My people are making all effort, great effort, to improve in their career. But my people are not making any effort to win so. He said it to me. He said, My people are making great effort. Yes, you should improve in your career. He said, But my people are not making any effort in winning so. In the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse 1, the Bible said that Jesus Christ sent his disciples two by two to the places where he will let her go. Verse 2, the Bible made us understand, he said to them that the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Pray you to the Lord of the harvest, that he will send four laborers into the field. And verse 3 it says, after the praying, verse 2, he sent them. Prayer shouldn't substitute in obedience. There is a place of prayer. There is a place where you obey. You are going to receive grace. Let me say this. Every one of us, we have our goal for 2020. How many of you have goals to win souls? How many of you? So you are going to pray our Father. Help me. This year, this month, I want to win souls. Use me to bring people to Jesus and disciple them and establish them in Christ and establish them in reality of grace. God has revealed his mind to us that his mind is increased. God has opened the eyes of God's servant. He has seen this place filled to the capacity to overflow. So open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer right now. Pray that prayer. Fruitfulness in the area of evangelism. Fruitfulness in the area of evangelism. Pray, lift your voice and pray. Jesus made us to know that the value of one soul is more than all the all the natural resources in the whole world. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Young people, old people, pray. Pray, pray. Malakata Hashem. Zakata Bakapa Pemedo Franda Bakate Bruno Sheka. Father, so Lord, help me. Oh, yes, Lord. To win a lot of people for Jesus this year. Oh, Father, this month of March, this month of March. Oh, Jacate, Zabarika, Tufra, Daba, Hashade, Mende, Luka, Hakele, Bo, Shande, Brakate, Bono, Shashi, Shata, Valeta, Tesata, Balo, Bedu, Shata, Balesata. before God. Thank God for those of us who know Dr. Jerry Sabel. 
is a carrier of grace. Is a preacher of righteousness. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that God will visit us mightily on the 12th and the 13th. And you're going to pray that you'll be here. Not with your friends and family. Hallelujah. So you're going to put your mouth and begin to pray. That come next week Thursday, we shall be here. Do you hear what I said? Come next week Thursday, we shall be in this auditorium. Come next week Friday, we shall be in this auditorium. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, I'm the hush. Yes, Father, we ask so Lord that you visit us, so Lord. Father, so we gather here next week, Thursday, Lord, and Friday, twelfth and thirteenth, oh Lord. Father, God, we ask so Lord for your visitation. Father, God, through the ministry of your servant, Doctor Jerry Savia, and Apostle Luala Dekula, the minister. Sheloba, shekete, shekete, brakata, zekuta. and begin to pray. Please. Pray, 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 pray. We are praying. This is Friday service. This is prayer meeting. Yes. Pray. Yes. Yes. 
Father, we bless the demand. That every one of us here, Lord, that's we can that yes, the full house. Uh, Father, next week Thursday, next week Friday. Let to Lord your awesome wonders be done in the life of every one of us. Um, every man, every woman, every attendee. Yes, us as a ministry right of Christmas International. Let your anointing of increase. Uh, yes, so Lord be released upon us. Uh, Jesus, next week Thursday, you'll be on this place. You'll be on this ground. No force or hair shall stop it. In the name of Jesus. And I'll prophesy to you again. Next week Friday, you shall be on this ground. No force or hair shall stop it. Open your mouth and declare. Yes, pray. Declare. Yes. Every road to this place as safe as sand release deploy the angels of God yes Lancelot Road every road leading to this place no evil shall be fall nothing shall go up me say in this property in this complaint this call in Lusa Sebete Sakura Sheketa Bente Guta Isata Kata Brakati Vratushata Yes, in the hasha. 
said that you know the hearts of people were grieved the agent of Israel enemies because of more than that somebody is looking for the way for the people of Israel Bible says smite the shepherd and it was a prophetic word concerning Jesus but it's applicable that is what whatever thing you are passing through is nothing to be compared to what God said about the attack the bombardment how many of you know that so you are going to pray Man of God told me about Dr. Jerry Save when he was transiting from here, going, I mean, for his connecting flight. He was quoting Psalm 91. They were vittering from the back. He was quoting Psalm 91, Mama C. He was quoting Psalm 91 at Heathrow Airport. He was quoting Psalm 91. Because whether you know it or not, Satan hates him. Because Satan wants to silence every genuine minister of the gospel. That is why don't listen to all those trash, all those rubbish on Facebook about the ministers of the gospel. Satan wants to rob you. Hallelujah. Because Satan wants to keep people in poverty, in bondage. So open your mouth and pray that every attack of hell against God's servant Apostle Luala Dekunle, his family, Dr. Jerry Savell, his family, his team, and you yourself, reality of grace, as this meeting, as this coming meeting, set it a place in the name of Jesus. Set it a place. Set it a place. Set it a place. Set it a place. Father, we set a place. Every attack of hell, every conspiracy of hell, every satanic gang up against your servant, Apostle Wola Dekola and his family. Yes, O Lord, let it be against Dr. Jerry Savell, his family, his team, relative of Christmas International, the workers, the members in this welcome meeting. We cause you to perish in the name of Jesus. We cause you to perish in the name of Jesus. We cause you to perish in the name of Jesus. We cause you to perish in the name of Jesus. We cause you to perish in the name of Jesus. We scatter every gathering of Jesus and wisdom. We scatter every gathering of a cotton heaven. We scatter every gathering of a gentle hand. I can score some of the person who will mighty name. Before God someone will come, and like I told us before, please believe me. We have spent quality time to pray for you. Hallelujah. We shall experience God's wonders. None of us and our families, our loved ones, members of Right of Christmas International, shall be victim of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus shall be victim of terrorist attack in the name of Jesus shall be victim of suicide bombers in the name of Jesus shall be victim of plane crash all the days of our 
our lives in the name of Jesus shall be victim of utter accident. We shall not die through accident in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not drown in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to know that we're going to see the awesome wonders of God. While we are praying, the Lord said I should tell us that every prayer we have prayed today, we shall see the manifestation. You shall see the manifestation. We shall see the manifestation. I shall see the manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. Every conspiracy of hell against God's servant, Apostle Luala Declay, family, Dr. Jerry Savage, King, the workforce of Reality of Christmas International, and every member shall not see the light of day. Shall not see the light of day. Shall not see the light of day. No one dies this year 2020. No one dies in our families. No one dies in our families. No one dies in rapture of grace this year 2020. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is a faithful God. And I prophesy. None of us shall lose our job. Every plan of Satan against our jobs, against your business, our business, our investment through COVID 19 or through any witchcraft orchestration shall not see the light of day. They are destroyed. They are destroyed. They are destroyed. They are crushed in the mighty name. Jesus. And I prophesy again today that soon and very soon uh, we shall move into our property. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. We shall move into our property. You shall rejoice. I shall rejoice. People shall celebrate with us. People shall celebrate with you. People shall celebrate with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. That long awaiting miracle shall come to pass. I say it shall come to pass. 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 Say to an neighbor. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Your awesome wonders shall come to pass. Your miracle shall come to pass. Your breakthrough shall come to pass. Your blessings shall come to pass. I say to your neighbor one more time. Say to your neighbor one more time. I want you to know. Come next week Thursday. On the 12th of this month of March. I will be on this ground. <laughs> Praising God, worshiping Him, receiving His word from God's heaven, Dr. Jerry Savell. And on Friday, the 13th of March, 2020, I'll be here again to receive the word of God, to receive miracles, signs and wonders through the ministry of God's heaven. Apostle Wala Dekole. If you believe that will lift up us and begin to bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're going to do one more prayer or two. Then you package your offerings so that we close in less than 10 minutes. Is that okay? Yes, amen and amen. amen. First, raise your hands and just bless the name of the Lord. Just worship Him. Just adore Him. Just glorify Him. Just lift Him up. Just honor Him. Oh, do salva hash. You're a grant of head can go via Satana. Oh, brother. In the name of Jesus. 
We are going to draw the blood mark. Yes, turn. Draw the blood mark. There was somebody whose house or so was being attacked. I think the person traveled and there was just a satanic invasion of some animal, maybe foxes or whatever. Yeah. And, they, and they told them that ah, the, these foxes is not one. Yeah. Uncountable. Can you just imagine maybe 200 foxes being released? So it was satanic. And they told the guy where he was that there is a satanic invasion. This is not normal. Destroying things there. And because he has traveled, they just said, Father, I draw the blood mark around my house. Everything that crossed died. We are going to draw the blood mark. Draw the blood mark. Yes, I is spiritual. Around your children. You draw this blood mark. Okay, like if you see, if you are able to see now, everything can touch here but not here. Because there is a blood mark. You draw the blood mark around your children. You draw the blood mark around your home. Spiritually. Because there are satanic peeping. Witchcraft peeping. You are sleeping, they peep. You stand. So that when they stretch their necks, you stand. The blood will be spread into their eyes, they won't see again. Are, are we here? So that they will not see again. So we are going to draw the blood mark. You know why? As long as we remain here at the Haberdasher Askes Nice Academy, we shall not see evil. We shall never, never be visited by terrorism. Are you ready? Draw the blood mark. Just draw the blood mark. Listen, listen. Over this school as a whole, no evil will cross into this school. And we shall not attract evil into this school. Are we here? Please, let's pray it. Let's pray it, Father. I draw the blood mark. I draw the blood mark around the reality of grace, around her members, around the Abadashan Askes Mines Academy. I draw the blood mark. 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 bullet. You know, sometimes they shoot people in the it's not all bullet shot. You understand? It's not all bullet shot that kill. That is intended to kill immediately. But they are to kill ultimately. Some people are shot and it is cancer they shoot into your body. Some people are shot your son, and they shot, and they, they shoot a curable disease, lung disease. There was a, a time somebody came close range, close range to me in the vision. The closest range of bullet, I shot me with that powerful pistol. Buzzer! I thought I have died. 
I didn't know I was wearing a bulletproof vest. When he shot me, no! They stand alone. I thought I had gone, but I still saw myself standing. So by the time I checked, the bullet has entered into my bulletproof vest. <laughs> we have a vest. You know, if I lie, let this alter judgment. Because I'm not here to, I'm just trying to tell you the reality of spiritual warfare. If I lie, let God judge me. When Sister Grace, come, Ken, come, Ken, Ken, you will be the best. Ken, quickly, quickly, hurry up, hurry up, please. By the time I check the bullet, whatever, hmm, the, the stain on the whatever was like this color. The poison, it was to enter into me and poison my system. By the time I tore the bulletproof, it entered into the bulletproof and changed the color of that place to around this color. You understand? You will see that there is fresh fire. You can only trust yourself. Are we here? Thank you, Ken. That's the color. But that was the call. I want us to pray that every bullet being aimed at me will oh yeah, go back. No bullet. Please obey me. Obey, obey. No bullet. No bullet. Every satanic bullet. Go back to sender. Go back to the sender. Every satanic bullet. Go back. Go back. Go back in the name of Jesus. Go back. Go back. Go back. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our stay not just for 12 and 13. Yes. Our stay throughout. Yes. Even when we move into yes. our new building shall never be stigmatized. Yes. We release the voice of the blood. Yes. Let the voice of the blood avail for us. Yes. Let the voice of the blood avail for us. Yes. Everyone, listen. Whose aim is that they will not see your head lifted? I, I decree today. It's not your, just your head that will be lifted. Every part of your body will be lifted. You shall succeed and you shall succeed well. In God you will succeed. In marriage you will succeed. In your finances, you will succeed. In your ministry, you will succeed. In your health, you will succeed. Amongst your peers, your peers will call you a success. Favor surrounds you. Favor surrounds me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The following people should quickly wait behind to see me briefly. Brother Kenny Kutum, Brother Tony uh, Pastor Stanley, uh, Sister Grace Duru, Sister Celia, Sister Dominic, uh, Sister Lydie, and uh, my wife. Amen. Amen. You wait behind and see me quickly for a very, very short minute. Very briefly. Amen. Quickly package your wonderful offering. Eh? The billionaire's offering.